morning, everyone. It's day 49 of our COVID quarantine school. Welcome, everyone. I'm sorry that I couldn't go live this morning. So Brito St. Lawrence has told us that they have turned off the electricity for us between 9 and 12 today. So we're going to make some quick changes and have this posted to you on YouTube and Facebook. <laughs> our verse of the day today is start children off in the way they should go. And even when they're old, they will not part from it. This was a Proverbs. Proverbs 22, 6. And uh, thank you, Madeline, for choosing this. I actually mentioned this verse a couple of days ago, and it's exactly, like I said, my motivation for teaching you and, and showing you things from the Bible and talking to you about things from God and Jesus, the things that Jesus taught while he was here with us on earth. I really do hope that it makes an imprint in your life and that it, his message of loving each other and loving God is something that you bring away from your life as you go and move on. It is Midweek Motivators today. We have our devotional this morning. We have completed our study of all of the Beatitudes. We finished last week with Blessed Are Those Who Are Persecuted. So what we're going to be doing now, I want to just do in the next three weeks, a real summary of what the Beatitudes mean to us and what they are. We're going to turn to something in our YouTube channel this morning, and it is all about the Sermon on the Mount. That is really the setting of where Jesus taught his Beatitudes. It's as recorded in Matthew. And we're going to turn to that right now, so I'll just share the screen with you. God's story, the Sermon on the Mount. So part of God's story is about a sermon Jesus gave on the side of a mountain and what he did afterwards. And it goes like this. One day, when Jesus saw crowds gathering to hear him teach or see him do miracles, he went to the side of a mountain. It was near the Sea of Galilee, across from a place called Capernaum. From there, he gave a message all about God's kingdom and his love. We call this message the Sermon on the Mount. Jesus started by explaining who would get blessings or favor from God. He said the most blessed people are those who are poor, sad, or humble. He said God shows favor to people who are just or treat others fairly, and people who are merciful or show love to those who don't deserve it. He said that people who are pure, who bring peace, or who get hurt for doing right will be rewarded for their actions in heaven. In other words, the people who love others, even when it makes them seem weak or unimportant on earth, are like heroes in God's kingdom. Anyway, Jesus went on to explain that when we believe in and follow him, it's our job to show everyone else who he is by loving them. That means going out of our way not only to comfort and help our friends, but also forgive people who hurt us, love our enemies, and give to people in need. The thing is, Jesus didn't just talk about love, he showed it all the time. In fact, right after giving this sermon, first, as Jesus came down from the mountain, a man with a skin disease called leprosy knelt before him. Lord, the man said, if you are willing, you can heal me and make me clean. Usually, no one wanted to be around people with leprosy, but Jesus touched him and said, I am willing, be healed. Instantly, the leprosy disappeared. Then, when Jesus arrived in Capernaum a bit later, a soldier said to him, Lord, my servant is in terrible pain. Right away, Jesus said, I will come and heal him. The officer said, just say the word from where you are, and my servant will be healed. Jesus told him, because you believed, it has happened. The officer's servant was healed. A little later, Jesus arrived at his disciple Peter's house. Peter's mother-in-law was there too, sick in bed with a high fever. Jesus touched her hand, and the fever left. Later that evening, many other people who were demon-possessed or sick came to see Jesus. He brought relief to all of them. At the end of the day, Jesus got into a boat with his disciples. Suddenly, a fierce storm came out of nowhere. Waves began crashing into the boat. The disciples realized that even though they were in the middle of a giant storm, Jesus was fast asleep. They shouted, Lord, save us. We're going to drown. Jesus said, you of little faith, why are you so afraid? Then he told the wind and waves to stop. They did. 
That day, Jesus taught a lot of people how to love and showed them what love looks like. Whenever somebody took their sickness or pain or fear to Jesus, he helped them. Everybody who met Jesus got to experience his love. And when we love like Jesus, everyone who meets us can feel his love too. And that's the story of the Sermon on the Mount. So as we can see, Jesus not only preached about what you needed to do to be a servant of God or a child of God, but he also lived it. And he lived it throughout his entire life. And so that's what I ask and pray for all of us today, that we can not only know what God promises, but that we can live it and have it change our lives so that that is exactly how we treat other people and treat God, exactly how God has asked us to. Let's pray. Dear Lord God, Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for the gift of the Word of God that we are able to read and learn more about Jesus and his time here with us. I thank you for the four men who wrote the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. I thank you for their different perspectives and different points of views, but most of all, for their detailed recordings of your work. And I praise you and thank you for the words that you've taught us in the Beatitudes and the opportunity to be able to teach them and learn them here in Canada this year. I thank you so much for all that you've given us. May you continue to bless us and be with us and write your word on our hearts so that when we are old, we do not stray from it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, everyone, please stand for the National Anthem. Oh, Protect us, keep us safe, as worries happen, find a way to wrap us in your peace and calm and keep our loved ones safe from harm. God, protect our nans and pops, those whose health is poor and stop the virus from its spread and spoil and heal those quick in pain and toil. Cover those who work frontline, the doctors, cashiers, restaurant kind who show up every day to give their safety up so we can live. We ask you, Lord, to give wisdom pure to those working to find a cure for treatment, vaccines and the like Keep them strong and in the fight. We know, dear Lord, you are in charge. You take our burdens small and large. With you, we have nothing to fear. And in this truth, we end this prayer. Amen. All right, everyone, just a few announcements. Because of the electricity being cut off, I'm not sure if French will be happening today. I will be in touch for the 3-4 class. And most likely, we'll be doing French directly after the morning show tomorrow. So like 10 o'clock for the morning show, uh, we'll have 3-4 French and then 11 o'clock we'll have the 5-6 French. That's most likely what's going to happen, so I will be in touch. It all depends. The rain date, if it does start to rain, is tomorrow. So we may have another pre-recorded lesson, which will be too bad. We'll let you know. But thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, I'm very excited. Our reports from home. We have a special report from home from Shawnee, and I'm not going to reveal too much more about that. But we do have spots for more reports from home, so if you want to give a report from home, let me know. Other than that, have a great day. And I'll see you again tomorrow morning.